What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at the long barrel on assault rifles. We did this with the SMGs not too long ago, and you guys really seem to like that. If you guys happen to miss that video though, I will leave a link right here, as well as in the description below. But today, it's going to be the assault rifles, and again, I'm going to have that very detailed range comparison chart for you to see. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's get right into the chart here, and as you can see, we picked a different map this time. Instead of Breach, I picked Fringe, because we get a little bit more range, and a little bit more of a line of sight out of it, which we need for the assault rifles, because they do have longer ranges than the SMGs. The stat changer on assault rifles is actually very straightforward. You just multiply every range value by 2 for each of the assault rifles, with the one exception being the KN44, which we'll get into right away here. One other thing I wanted to point out before we get into it is the three different range values that you can see there. We have 50 meters, 38 meters, and 18 meters. These are the most common range values used by the assault rifles, so I thought I would just put that there as a bit of a guideline. So kicking it off with the KN44, as you can see right here, the long barrel does almost nothing. It gives you a 13% increase to an already really short range, and in my opinion, it's never worth running a long barrel on the KN44, especially once you see what happens to the other assault rifles as we go through the chart. Next up we have the XR2, and this is a 3 shot kill out to 38 meters, and then beyond that it's a 4 shot kill. And when you put long barrel on it, it now doubles that 3 shot kill, or your 1 burst kill potential, to 76 meters, which is extremely far in this game. You're not going to be able to find a line of sight consistently that long. And also one thing I wanted to point out is this looks really good on paper, because you're doubling your 1 burst kill potential with the XR2. But keep in mind, once you get beyond that sort of 38 meter range, the chances of you ever landing all three shots within one burst become very slim, and therefore I don't really recommend running long barrel on the XR2. At these sort of ranges within that range increase, it's almost always going to take at least two bursts to get a kill anyways, so yes, it might help you every once in a while, but honestly in most situations it's not going to be changing your time to kill much at all. Moving on to the HVK, it's a four shot kill out to 50 meters, which is actually quite far. And again, the long barrel will double that 4 shot kill potential all the way to 100 meters, which is absolutely insanely far. Now again, I'm going to bring my opinion into this a little bit. I don't recommend long barrel on the HVK, and the simple reason for this is the HVK I find is better in those sort of closer to mid-range sort of gunfights when you compare it to the other assault rifles, because it does have a really high rate of fire, as well as it has a fair amount of recoil. I mean, it's not a terrible amount of recoil, but it's not the type of gun you're typically picking people off with across the map. If that's your playstyle and you decide to go that way, then absolutely throw a long barrel on there. It'll be a four shot kill out to any line of sight you'll be able to find in the game. Moving on to the ICR, it actually has identical range values to the HVK, but in this scenario, I would say it is worth it to run long barrel in a lot of situations because the ICR is that laser accurate sort of gun and it is better suited to challenging those cross-map gunfights. You can counter snipers with this gun pretty effectively, especially since they buff the recoil on it and everything like that. With the ICR, if you are going to be challenging people at longer ranges, which is what it's designed to be doing, then absolutely I would recommend running a long barrel. Next up we have the Man of War. This is a 3-shot kill out to 38 meters, which is a pretty decent distance, but again, with long barrel, we double that to 76 meters, which is extremely far. It's hard to find a line of sight that far. And with the Man of War, I would say definitely, I highly recommend running Long Barrel. Having a 3 shot kill at pretty much any range you'll ever be able to find in the game is very, very powerful. So, Man of War with Long Barrel, highly recommended for sure. Moving on to the Shiva, and I also threw in the MX Grand here just to make it fit in the chart a little bit better so it was readable. They have identical range values and they're both affected by Long Barrel in the same way. And they're essentially the same in a lot of other areas as well, so that's why I just grouped them together. They're actually a two-shot kill out to 50 meters, which is insanely good. Very, very good already. But again, you can double that with long barrel and make it a two-shot kill at any range in the game. Another thing I want to mention with these two guns, because they have that exceptional uh, high caliber multiplier where they get a one-shot headshot out to 19 meters regularly, both of them do. If you put long barrel on, you also double that one-shot headshot potential with high caliber, and you double it from 19 meters all the way up to the 38 meters. So I definitely recommend running long barrel on these if you're going for headshots, long barrel combined with high caliber that is, because it'll be a one-shot headshot out to 38 meters. As for when you're not going for headshots, that's really personal preference. I mean, I don't mind taking three shots when I'm at 50 meters, but if you want it to be always a two-shot kill, then go ahead and pop on that long barrel. 
So finally we have the M8A7, which is a 4 shot kill out to 38 meters, and then we can double that with long barrel out to 76 meters. Again, just like with the XR2, even though you are technically doubling your one shot kill potential, the chances of you hitting all four shots within one burst beyond 38 meters are very slim, and therefore I don't typically recommend running long barrel on the M8. I mean, you're not making a mistake if you're doing it, but I just feel like other attachments will help it out a little bit more. So there you have it. There's the range chart for long barrel on the assault rifles. You can make the decisions for yourself based on this chart, or you can use some of the little recommendations I threw in there that are based on my own personal opinion. Next up, I do hope to do one of these as well with long barrel on shotguns because a lot of people have been asking for that one. And that should be coming out within the next couple weeks probably. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.